Rigging is one of the more annoying processes, I would argue, of making a film or a game, but it's essential in order to create a character that can be animated, of course. Now, here you can see I've assigned the bones to their correct locations. This character has not been fully rigged yet. It needs to be binded, but, um, but you can see that the bones are there. And I did that using Auto Rig Pro. Now this is not trying to say that Auto Rig Pro is bad, but this is a very complicated model here with a lot of different parts. You can see you have this right here, you have this right here, um, and then you have of course the body mesh itself, and then and then you have these other parts uh, as well. So now AutoRig Pro does not do very well in this situation because there's just too many parts. So what I'm going to try here is use the binding feature. So I'm going to click match to rig and then, and then just click on the mesh, shift click on the rig and then I'm going to use voxelized type 1. And then I think nine should be fine for this. And then just just leave everything else. I think this is the defaults. Actually, preserve, preserve volume should be checked by, by default, but I unchecked that. So you can see the uh, now the character has been rigged with Auto Rig Pro. And uh, you can see it's there's a little bit of problems here with, uh, with the arm. And if I go into here, the fingers are absolutely terrible. So this is a limitation of AutoRig Pro's algorithm. It's not like 100%. And the, the tool that we're going to be looking at, AccuRig, is not 100% accurate either, but it does give much better results than, than this. So what I'm going to do now is delete the rig. So just click the rig, delete, and then I'm going to unbind this as well. So unbind to get rid of all these vertex groups. If you go to file export FBX, I'm going to also limit to selected objects because I just want to select. So now we're in Accurate, you can see uh, you can see that like there's this compatible poses and extras. So ideally, make sure that your that your model is in a pose or t pose for optimal auto detection. Uh, it says multi meshes and accessories are allowed. Total poly count should be under six hundred thousand tries, which is actually actually a lot. So if you click choose file here, uh, by default it'll just load up this this here which has some sample characters that you can use i'm going to navigate over to where my character is this this one right here i'm going to use okay so now you should see something that looks like this this is asking you to sort of define your symmetry line so i find that 50 is usually correct so right now it we can see that it is pretty much correct so, and one other thing, you might notice that the textures on your model are a little bit weird because it like took all of the color out. I think it's just taking the color out and then keeping the normal information. Not sure why it does that, but from here you can just click rig body. And then you can choose like where your sort of joints are. Now, by default, it usually is correct, but right now I'm just going to move this to be more accurate in terms of the um, in terms of like its relation to the image that it shows, which is pretty helpful. And then from there, I can click Rig Right Hand. You can mess around with some other settings. Uh, there is like documentation and things like that going going over this. Um, but from there you can click rig right hand and then rig left hand finalize character because it looked fine
and now you can see the results. So this is actually looking much better than the results with AutoRig Pro. Again, not trying to say that AutoRig Pro is bad, it just struggled with this particular mesh here because uh, there's a lot of different parts to this. So we can see that the hands look good and then we can come over here and actually see like a bunch of different animations. So like this hand one, it looks pretty good. Now, I wouldn't say it's perfect, um, but it is quite accurate. The reason I say it's not perfect is because you can see that there's a little bit of clipping through the hand there. But overall, this is much better than what we were getting with AutoRig Pro with the with the hand or the fingers sort of like splitting apart. That was that was really bad. So, um, you know, this is this is much better. Now I'm gonna go to uh, export this. So. Um, if you hadn't seen this already, which you may have, you can click this export here and then just export FBX. Uh, and then just like, just like we were, we were exporting in Blender from there. So, uh, you can select your preset. I'm going to go with Blender and then max texture size, embed texture. I'm not going to embed texture in this case because like I sort of mentioned, it does something weird with the textures and, um, I actually, I actually tried this earlier, and it, it kind of, it kind of had like really weird results. So it, it, when I imported it back into Blender, so I'm not gonna embed texture. I'm just gonna um, do that uh, sort of process over again. But export, and then I'll just call it rigging using AccuRig tutorial rigged, and then save. Okay, so now we're back in Blender and we can just import that in the file that we just um, that we just exported out of Accurig, and now we can see our finished rig. Now I'm gonna go over the positives first and then the negatives. The positives are that the rig works pretty well. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. You can see if I rotate this upper arm here it's it's correctly sort of manipulating without affecting like the cloth sort of down here right and then same thing if I if I grab this thigh here and then rotate it that way where it looks good rotate it that way looks good if I grab the calf here rotate it looks good Now the cons. If we look at the rig, it's a little bit weird. So we have this thigh twist bone. We have this this uh, base, uh, not base spine. That's fine. But we have this uh, upper arm twist. We have this upper arm twist O2. We have forearm twist O2. Now, of course, there are rigs that have twist bones the problem is that this has these have weights assigned to them so we we need these bones in order for the rig to function the way the way we expect which is a little bit odd there are also more twist bones than the unreal engine mannequin another con is that we don't have a control rig so it's a little bit more of a hassle it's actually Actually, probably three times more of a hassle to actually animate with with a rig that does not have a control rig if we um, if we try to like you know m manipulate this to create like a run cycle we would have to okay go rotate this uh, down and then again grabbing trying to grab the specific bones is just such a hassle um, and then we have to rotate this like that and then and then we have to grab the wrist and then rotate like that so that's kind of annoying 
Um, I wish we had a control rig for this. Um, and then in general, like the, the rig is just a little bit weird and like the names are not are not correct for for the Unreal um, mannequin. This is fairly new software, so, so they might fix a lot of these issues in, in updates. But right now, I just am not a fan of, of how this works, and you have to kind of retarget it in, in Unreal in my case, and uh, it's just, there, there are annoyances that you have to deal with with this, with this rig. But the rig itself is the best rig that I could get um, using automated tools. So for this model, at least. So my general advice is to use a Rigify or um, Auto Rig Pro or a tool like that. Um, and then if that if that doesn't work well, then you can go with Rigify, especially if you plan on using other animations that you want to retarget onto this one.